The tie's on, the shirt's on, the waistcoat's on. It means only one thing. Roll the special Champions League intro. change your tactic when you're winning. Never change your tactic when you're winning. Probably into Danny Love again. Danny Love comes forward. Comes through. Who made us there? Who made a bock of Oh, you fucking kidding me. Oh. Why does Football Manager hate me so much? Why? Why does it hate me so much? Throw in though. Jeff into Alexander. Alexander. Ball across the scene is there! He's offside! He's offside. He saved it! He saved it! Oh, he and saved it! Come on! He could put us through to the semi-finals of the Champions League. Alexander steps up, right-footed. He steps on and sticks it in the goal! Get in there! We're into the semi-finals of the Champions League. Oh my god, what a roller coaster of emotions. We are playing away in England at Southampton on the south coast. Puts a cross in. Azim is in the back post. He fires it in. 15 minutes. 15 minutes to get them. two more goals. Can we do it? He's still got a man in the middle. Simic in the back post. It's gone in. One more goal. Simic. Toss it. Ball in. Medina in the back post. He's stuck in. Oh my god. We have three minutes to go. What on earth do I do to not mess this up? Shostnikov to Kamara, Azina nicks the ball, there's the full time whistle, we're into the Champions League final. Oh my god, what a dramatic game, a 92nd minute winner has just beaten Southampton to pass through to the Champions League final. I am, I, I can't believe it. Atletico Madrid. Welcome back to the NK Zagreb save Champions League final day. Uh, if you don't follow me on Twitter, then we did the whole season without losing a game. 36 played, 36 wins, 122 goal difference, 108 points. Absolutely ridiculous. Gigliotti scoring 37 goals this season. Medina with 32 assists and an 8.09 it's just been a ridiculously good season. Can we sign it off and technically sign off the series of what would be an unbelievable season? Not even drawing a game, doing everything, well, just winning every single game in the league. Comes to the Champions League, as the intro suggested, there's been drama. Like, absolute drama throughout this Champions League. 4-1 we beat it well it started really I guess you could say the drama started in the first knockout stage when we drew 4-4 away at Old Trafford against Man United we then beat them 2-0 in the return leg in Croatia 
4-1 we beat Bayern Munich at home and then lost 4-1 away winning on penalties with Oyerzin being the superstar in goal. Then Southampton as an unlike, uh, well, unlikely opponent in the semi-finals, a 2-2 draw away. Thought I'd set myself up nicely. We won it in the 92nd minute. We nicked it after they were going to go through on away goals. It was 4-4 and Medina was at the back post in the 92nd minute and I was dumbfounded in absolute disbelief. And it led us to this. In Germany, in the Olympia Stadion, in Berlin, Atletico Madrid. And it is going to be a very, very tough game. But we've come this far. It's a one-off game. Can we do it? I mean, the form has been great leading up to it. The wins, even the win against Southampton was a good morale booster. 4-0, 3-0, 5-1 in the league. Is this is it? It's all or nothing going into the Champions League final, and it's incredible. Oyerzin in goal: Jeff, Odair, Leonardo, Tosic, Medina, Garcia, Munoz, Munoz, Gigliotti, and Ratinho. Likely going to be the starting lineup. I don't think I'm going to change anything. Tello. Oh, Tello probably does deserve a run. He's been absolutely incredible this season. I'm going to make the bold call of dropping Manoz to the bench and starting Tello. Tello has been ridiculously good for us. I mean, so has Manoz. Overall, Tello has 7 goals, 7.56. Manoz has 9 on a 7.4. 8 goals in 27 league appearances. 24 million we bought him for. Obviously, Tello. Tello is just ridiculous. 78 million we bought him. 7 goals in 22. I'm going to, I'm going to start Tello. I think it would be foolish not to start him. Gigliotti and Rotinho get the nod. Obviously, you're allowed 12 subs, so we're going to pick all the subs apart from our third-choice goalkeeper. Okay, so I've had a slight change of mind, and we've gone for Manoz and Tello in the middle with Garcia dropping to the bench, and, and we've gone back to two box-to-boxes. This is how we started with this formation. Two box-to-boxes, it was those two, and they played incredibly well together. Let's get into it. Champions League final time, and... Oh, I'm so nervous. I am so nervous. They're playing a 4-4-2, which I've said before, we're generally quite good against. Um, passionately. Go and show everyone your born winners. They like that. And then, obviously, passionate and faith. There's a lot more to come from everybody. We're going to let Ross just go and tell... Yeah, go and kick people and mark them tightly. Comprehensive. Goal highlights. And... Into the tunnel we go. I fully hope so. He's been a good servant. Even though he's leaving us on a free. He has been a good servant. The Champions League final is underway. We're in our white kit. They're in their blue kit. And uh, that's a name I'm not going to be able to pronounce. Nikola Tezvedomirov. Into Miguel. And Atletico Madrid looking to start. We're starting attacking. We're going to start attacking. We're going to stick with our principles to start with. Oyerzin has the ball. Now we need to keep an eye on to see what they're going to do in terms of uh, high line, offside traps and stuff like that. So we can adapt our tactics as we go. Our gaze robbed really well by Odair. Rotinho. Uh, ball over top into Gigliotti. What a start this could be. Gigliotti shoots. 50 seconds in. We're 1-0 up in the Champions League final. What on earth do I do at this stage? 50 seconds and we're 1-0 up. Gigliotti getting his 38th goal of the season. A lovely assist by Rotinho. And Rotinho here did what a right footed ball. Just outpaced that really tall centre back. That's number 18. I don't know who that is. Uh, Monterio, okay, we'll have to keep an eye on him for winning headers and stuff. But Gigliotti puts us 1-0 up in 50 seconds. Drop down a positive, I think, is a sensible option to do right there. As, uh, now, actually, do we go... They're not going to come at us just yet. In a minute, I'm tempted to drop down our line, our level of engagement and stuff. Yeah, no, let's do it now. If it's what I want to do, if it's what I was thinking of... Let's drop it down ever so slightly. And we'll go standard so that we stop them getting lots of wing play and putting in crosses. And uh, first shot of the game, first shot on target, and it's a goal, which is wonderful because we took the shot. Uh, Munoz can't get there. Tosic tries to win the header. Odair has the ball. Goes long. Gigliotti is in behind again. He's gone off his man. He can square it. He tries. Ratinho. Oh! <sighs> Just past the post, and we have started like an absolute freight train in this game. Tosic with an easy header. Heads out the line to Manoz. Back to Leonardo. Into Tello. Tello turns. Up to Gigliotti. Gigliotti to Medina. 
Medina cuts in field, ball across, it beats everyone, Munoz will pick it up, and he wins a corner. He wins a corner. Now we put our corners to the near post at the moment, and that is where that giant of a centre back is standing, and he's won the header. Munoz back out to Tello, ball across, Tello was offside, so nothing to come from that. It's a good start though, it's a decent start, and... Gigliotti didn't set that well, sorry my phone was going off, but Gigliotti didn't set that very well, Rotinio runs forward, ball across, Munoz couldn't get enough power on the header, easy catch for the goalkeeper, and it's a throw, Jeff into Medina, Medina gets past his man, cross is blocked again, it's another corner, let's see if this one is won at the near post by that giant of a man again, Tello, I'll get it, didn't even beat him, and uh, Tello does keep it there though, Leonardo does well to win that one, Odair, out to Munoz on his left foot. Can he put a cross in? No, that's blocked as well. And uh, Fasone had the acceleration to get over from him. Munoz didn't like that, so just kicked him. Why not? Just kick him if he's going to run away from you and outpace you. Just kick him. Miguel Oyers in with a save. Fasone pounces on it. Our gaze has a shot. Munoz is there. Can we launch a counter? Gigliotti comes forward. He's got Rotini on his left. Tries to feed him through. Does get the ball through to him. Out it goes to Munoz, but just over hit. Got to praise him, haven't you? Got to praise him. We're 1 0 up in the Champions League final. Lopez. In it goes. They've Two Lopez's they've got. I didn't even notice that before. Lopez out to Fasone. Loads of space for the right winger. Shot blocked and Leonardo will surely get this away. Does. Finds Rotinio's feet. And uh, can Rotinio put a big crossfield ball on? He does. He tries. Gigliotti's in. <laughs> it's 2-0. It's 2-0 in the Champions League final. 15 minutes gone. And we're 2-0 up. In the bloody Champions League final. Wonderful ball from Rotinio. Great first touch from Gigliotti. <laughs> Surely they've got to come at us now. Surely they've got to come out and attack us and start pushing up and playing a high line. Our gaze, which is going to leave space in behind, which we can try and exploit tactically. Which I might switch to in a minute. Especially if they're going to leave us two on two at the back. If they're going to push their fullbacks up, then I think we can really exploit that. Because we're going to have a lot more pace. That guy's a giant. I mean, how tall? He looks a giant in the six foot five. He's actually pretty quick as well. But I think we can exploit it. Throw in. Tossage to Manoz. Turns. Lays it back to the other Manoz. And that shot's just past the post. I did not expect us to go 2 0 up inside 20 minutes in the Champions League final. Gigliotti with a brace. Can he get a hat trick? What a final that'll be for him. Medina. It's a corner. And again, I'm watching this front post because I think he's zonal. Yeah, he's not marking anyone in specific. In specific. And uh, well, it doesn't even reach him again. So maybe we should go to the back post anyway. Apolesiado clears it. We get a throw in. Jeff up the line to Gigliotti, who does manage to keep the ball alive. Munoz. Good ball out to the other Munoz. Can, he does put a cross in. Rotinio. Oh, God, he's got to do better. He's got to do better. He's got to score that. He had loads of time and space as... That's a good flick on, and it stopped uh, the central midfielder picking out for Atletico Madrid as Munoz robs him. Rotinio comes forward. We've got this counter at the end. Gigliotti into Medina. Medina tried to square it. It's going to be a corner. It's all us. It is all us at the moment, and that scares me a little bit because we have a sort of... Well, we like drama, don't we? We like drama in the Champions League. We like to make it tough for ourselves, as Ken Wynn pointed out in the comments section. Tosic. Leonardo. Up to Munoz. Munoz back to Tosic. Into Munoz. Back to Tosic. Long ball over the top. That's what, that's what I'm talking about. Gigliotti's in. He's offside. He's offside. But that's the ball. That is the ball that we can cause them trouble with because we've got, I think, our strikers are quicker and better with movement than theirs. They're lanky bastard at the back. Tosic. Back to Munoz. Back to Tosic. Ball in back post, but it's flicked away. Jeff will pick it up and dinks that in. Munoz with a header, but Manoz can't really head the ball. We've seen that numerous times in this save. But 33 minutes gone and Leonardo came a long way to win that ball. So he had to win it and he did. Leonardo lays it back to Tosic. Tosic goes long. Rotino does get there. He's offside. He's off We're offside a lot. We are offside a hell of a lot. Is there a stat for offsides? Can I add that in there? There's that free kick goes over the bar. Let's... um. Offsides. Let's add it in there, just so we can keep an eye on how many we are, uh, how how far we are offside. Um, it's mainly been Rotinio, but two goals for Gigliotti, two assists for Rotinio, so that's uh, pretty decent. Tello 
I think for the last maybe five minutes of this half, I'm going to mix it up a bit, I think. I think we're going to go and really play counter-attacking. As here is Munoz. Munoz tries to swing across in. Yeah, so this is what I mean, right? We're going to go... Um, we're going to pass it into space, and we're going to lower the tempo, but go more direct uh, and look for that early ball to the strikers. Just for the last five minutes, so we can save a little bit of energy as we go. As uh, Tello will look to put this ball in. All the way, that's massively over hit. Medina puts a cross in, though. It's cleared away. Minoz is there. He's on a yellow card, so we need to be careful. Medina back to Tello. And uh, you can see they're already starting to press. I think it's when Tello gets the ball. He had about three people on him as Lopez fouls Odair. And uh, we'll take that one for sure. Throw in Tosic into Minoz. They're marking up much better than other teams. But Gigliotti was free. And probably should have done better. Just as I was saying, they are marking us up better than the other teams have done from that throw-in. But uh, they go long, and that's easy for Odair, but it's a poor header. Tello does well to bring down. Yeah, you can see they literally try to swamp Tello as soon as he gets the ball. Ratinho beats one. Ball to the back post. Medina goes around the keeper, but it's offside. It was a good jink to go around the keeper, but it was offside. So it wouldn't have counted even, even if he had put it in. Jeff with a throw. Medina, again, it's still all us, and that's another corner. I'm starting to think we're not really taking advantage of these corners. It's six corners to zero. As uh, that goes in and we fouled Thomas Arges at the front post by Odair. So that's a little bit annoying. 44 minutes gone and they go out to the right hand side up to Fasone who brings it down well. Comes forward. Good tackle from Tosic but it falls to the Russian who shoots and Oyezi makes the save. Um, I'm going to praise them just before half time again. 2 0 up in the Champions League final. I shouldn't do anything else but praise them, to be honest. There's Munoz on the left wing, not having the best of games. We have Simic on the bench, the youngster. To Tosic up to Munoz. Back to Tosic. Into Munoz again. Back to the other Munoz. Crosses it in. It's blocked. Gets another chance. It's another corner. And because we're coming to half time, let's go far post. You go to the far post, you stand on the far post, you set mark the goalkeeper, and uh, why not, you go and attack the near post. And we'll do the same on this side as well, we'll go far post, you go in far post, you go there, you go there, you attack the goalkeeper, you mark the, what are you doing there then, just go forward, okay. Right, mix it up from, bit, from the corner, I want to see if eight, does 18 move? He's still sort of centrally. I guess he's their best header. You'd put him there, but I don't know why that's gone near post. We literally just changed the tactic. Maybe the message didn't get across. Tello wins a throw in, though, deep in Atletico Madrid territory. And with a minute or 20 seconds or so to go, I'm happy with that. And it looks like at half time, we're going to be going in 2 0 to the good, which is bloody fantastic. Um, I've got to be passionate. I'm very pleased. I can't say anything else than that. I am very pleased. It's the Champions League final. 2 0 up. It goes back. Leonardo Odair. I've suddenly, as the second half kicked off, suddenly gone all goose pimply, which is very, very annoying. As Miguel in up it goes to the Russian Nicola. Nico Nicole Nicola? Nicola? I think it'll be Nicola. Yeah. Probably be like Nicola, like I called Nicola Nikola Tesla. But uh, they get their first corner of the game in the start of the second half. We're lining sort of half zone or half man marking. Miguel puts it across. Monterio with the header. And our gaze is the offside. Thank bloody hell for that. I thought we were about to boot that in our own net. Um, we're not struggling on the left. I won't make a sub just yet. There's no need. That'll be rushing it. Also, I'm going to play this quite tactically. I think when we get to like the 60th mark, if we're still 2-0 up, I'll drop to balanced. If we get to 70, I'm going to go a little bit more um, defensive-wise, as in not playing with an offside trap and a high line because we don't need to. Medina comes forward. A lot of space to run into for him. Gigliotti's got in behind the defence. He shoots. Isidro makes the save. And it's another corner for NK Zagreb. Now, look, he's being drawn towards the front post. So, go over his head. That's it. Odair headed it straight back to him, which is really annoying. Our gaze comes forward. And uh, we need to watch this man in the middle, please. That's who he's tried to find. Leonardo covers it well. Yeah, let's do that. We'll do that sub after this highlight. Lopez into the Russian Nikola Tizmarov. And uh, they found out got on the edge. There's a bit of space at Apreciado. He comes in field. Fasone shoots. It's blocked. Miguel. Miguel out to Alvarenga. Back to Miguel again. Back to Alvarenga. And they can have possession in that area. It's not really... that. This causes us trouble when they pass it down there. And that's a corner. And no, don't make, don't make subs at corners, Dave. That's football 101, isn't it? You never make a sub at a corner. Miguel, ball in. There's a header. It goes over the bar. But you can make a sub at your own goal kick. So we're going to do... The youngster Simic on and Munoz off. Not his best game, but he's been fantastic all season. 
Um, so I'm not going to have a go at him. He'll, be, he'll get a big pat on the back as he comes off the pitch. We're going to go to um, a bit of praise again. Tosic into Simic. Fresh on. Knocks it down to Manoz. Back to Simic. And there's... Oof, Gigliotti was there. Eyeing his hat trick up. Simic. Cross in. Isidro is a really good catch on that one. Really good catch. And... I'm just... Uh, 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 that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking right now. Just calm it down. Don't don't have to try and play that offside trap. We can just try and keep them in front of us. Don't have to push so high. Don't have to push so high. So why have we got our line so high? But Gigliotti's in. Uh, Gig oh, it's a good save from Isidrio. I was too worried about my defensive line as Jeff takes the throw into Medina. Back to Jeff. Jeff comes forward with it. Into Medina again. Medina's through. It's a great tackle. Jeff will pick it up. Ball in. It's headed away again as Osipov, who's come on for them, I think, on the left wing, uh, won it. And uh, Leonardo with a great challenge there. And he comes away with the ball. It's been a very good performance so far. 20 minutes to go. Simic. I just couldn't get around Soriano, but it is a corner. Do I go balanced? We also have to keep an eye on keeping men back from these corners as well. Because they'll eventually go very attacking as Medina will pick this up as it overflew everybody's head. And is he fouled? He is fouled. So we'll take that free kick. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, Michael Oliver, the referee. English referee, Tello. Tello ball in. It's cleared away. And uh, Tello is just really lazy to get to that one. And Miguel comes away with it. Ball over the top to Arguez. And they're trying to hit us on the, on the counter here. Into Fasone. Fasone back across Jeff with a good header. And uh, Lopez to Lopez. Up to Osipodov. Osipodov the sub on. Oyerzin with a good save. And a corner, a free kick at one end, ends up in a corner at the other for Atletico Madrid. 20 minutes to go. I don't want to say I'm getting nervous, but you can see I'm playing more and more defensive as the minutes go by. Lopez into Soliano. Back to Lopez. Into Apareciado. Into Lopez. Atletico Madrid keeping the ball really well. Miguel. And he's given it away. And Simic is there. And we, well, we couldn't launch anything from him. But down the other end, Tosic. Throw into Simic, takes a touch, lays it back. Manoz in space, shoot. Tello, have a go. He does the sensible option, gives it to Medina, whose cross is blocked. Medina keeps it in and wins a corner. Not yet. There's still 15 minutes to go. They're still only leaving one up at the moment. Simic, ball in. Headed away by Soriano at the near post. Simic back to Tello. Tello to Manoz. Oh, I thought he was going to bend one in. Into Medina, who was offside. I'm blinking. I'm blinking. I'm blinking on the set pieces. Corners. Defensive. No. Attacking. Uh, midfield centres. All the midfield centres. Just stay back. Stay back. Way back. Make sure we have the numbers. Play on. Are we... Are we... Are we... No. We'll time waste a little bit now as well because there's like 15 minutes to go. Tello straight into the wall with the free kick. And he keeps it alive though. Just don't lose it. Into Jeff. Jeff just clears it and uh, that'll do fine because it gives us a throw in and we can waste a bit of time. It's been pretty even. We've outdone them slightly statistically wise. That's a very bad sentence. But Tello, ball in, back post. It's really poor header away and I see that he jumps on it. Oh my word, there's like 10 minutes to go. Tosic into Simic and not been able to get that cross in. It's a good block from the tall guy, Monteiro, as uh, Simic lines up the free kick. A uh, corner. Swings it into the back post. Odair can't win the header. And uh, Medina tackles him well and it goes out for a throw in to Atletico Madrid. But with 10 minutes to go, it's down the other end. Osipodov, not really troubling. Uh, Oyerzin in goal, that one. Tosic throwing into Simic. Back to Tosic. What's he going to do? Tries to put it in towards the back post. And Osipov just gives us another corner. Uh, they bring on Okoro for Fasson for new fresh legs on the right wing. They've changed formation. Okay, they've changed formation. Keep an eye on that. Uh, Rotino header. It's in. It's in. Medina scored. It's 3-0. It's 3-0 with seven minutes to go. Oh, well, watch the replay because I have no idea what happened. Then it took me by complete surprise. Okoro is the guy they've just brought on who was clearly involved because his name's on the screen. So Simic was here. It's headed down, and Medina just gets in front of the goalkeeper. Not known for his heading, but a bloody good job of it he did then. Surely now it's just really, really low. Waste time all the time. There's seven minutes to go. Short of passing. Don't pass it into those. Play out of defence. We'll stay a little bit narrower. Don't run at them. Um, I mean, we can just restrict them a little bit there. 
hold our shape, regroup, slow the pace down. Um, in possession, do we want to change any of this? I think, well, we have slightly, but let's play. I just need to check that Jeff's having a good game because we're get, making the goalkeeper take his time and then roll the ball out to him. As uh, Hang on, here comes our geese into the Russian Tetsmedov, into Lopez. Oh, by the way, I'm just assuming that guy's Russian because of his name. I might be in terribly wrong. What? Yeah, it's still 3 0. I just saw a score there that said 2 0, but that was obviously a half time score. I'm doing it. We're going defensive. We are going defensive. We are, like, shutting down the shop, as it were. We are just. We are holding this game. Um. I'm going to do Tello for Garcia, Ratinho for Chalmers, Chalmers is going to sit in here and you're going to sit there as a deep line playmaker on defend or are you going to sit there as an anchor man, just anchor the midfield yeah, just do that, um, now that is a risk because Ratinho is playing very very well up there, deep line playmaker, what do you want to do? I mean, yeah, deep line play. We don't need... Uh, box to box does cover backwards as well, though. That's the issue. Right, it's very structured. It's very defense defensive. We're wasting time. There's five minutes to go. All three subs done for both teams. I mean, Chalmers is unhappy at the club, but he's getting a bloody Champions League run out. Fin a Champions League final run out. Medina shoots. It's blocked. He it was an open goal. The goalkeeper had gone. It's 4-0. That's got to be the game. And with that, could be the series. And we'll get onto that in a minute if we hold, well, if we, we should hold on to this. Four minutes to go. Medina deserves a goal. And look at that. The goalkeeper had, had, had dramatically died for the first effort. It might be too early, but... Champiali! Do, 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 do. Oh, I think we've won it. I think we've won it at the first time of asking in the Champions League final. As uh, Leonardo does really well to intercept that one. It's 4-0. Now, we've loved a bit of drama in this Champions League run, but this is emphatic. A 4-0 win in the Champions League final. We're into injury time. Oh, my word. It's just incredible. Anoyerzin catches that and holds onto the ball like, there's, like he's got bloody super glue on his hands. Oh my word, it's just, we've done it the hard way to get here, but we've taken a team from the third division west of Croatian football to Champions League glory. It's just, it's just unbelievable. It's remarkable. It's the greatest thing I've done in Football Manager, and I've been playing it since Champ Manager... 97 98 I think was the first one I played. Yes! Come on! We've won, we've won. I should have put 3D on to get the little confetti. We've just smashed Atletico Madrid in the Champions League final. 4-0. The waistcoat does it again. Oh. Medina gets your man of the match. Two goals and 9.5. That is how in-depth you can get a football manager. I thought was thinking so tactically about that. Unbloody believable. Champions League winners. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Oh, we've done it. I've just checked. It is recording. Everything has gone through. Gigliotti brace, Medina brace, Champions League winners. Oh, we lift the Champions Cup. The route. Medina completed the route. We've smashed them. Let's get into that press conference. We're doing this one. I'm absolutely chuffed. Uh, I thrive under that sort of pressure. Everyone wanted to win it. Um, yeah, the squad can, can go on and hunt for more trophies. Why not? Uh, the performance of the players was fantastic, fully deserved. Delighted to win it. Um, Gigliotti's early goal was brilliant. Odeo was a joy to watch. He was faultless. Man City manager Pecolo was spotted in the crowd today following Spectre's interest in signing Gigliotti. I don't think it's going to happen. 
How things chairman's brilliant. You've been charged for many years now in a previous Oh ho, ho, ho. so this leads me to a point about a question for you guys that you need to answer in the comment below. Now I'm gonna have um some time off from Football Manager because this has been a monumental series. So there won't be any champ manager uh, football manager videos for a little while about a new series or whatever. There will be whatever happens, there'll be a new series on FM nineteen on the channel. And there will be a, a video of what happened 10 years into the future with NK Zagreb. So we'll we'll check that one out as well. I'll holiday the game 10 years into the future and we'll see what NK Zagreb do without me. However, what I need you to let me know is FM19, do we do a whole complete brand new series, which is undecided at the moment. So I don't have an idea in mind. I don't have um, what sort of save it would be, whether it would be another club to glory or a journeyman or just for a bit of fun. Or a big club with loads of money for a bit of fun and something like that. I have no idea, but it will be a brand new save starting from... I'd probably try and download the latest database I could. So we have all, most of the recent transfers. Or do we resign from NK Zagreb and go trophy hunting here? So we do a journeyman, a European journeyman, just trying to win as much silverware as we can from the year 2036 with our profile as it is, as winning the Champions League with NK Zagreb. And we don't have to go and take over small clubs and, and grow them. We just take over the biggest clubs and try and win, you know, like the Premier League, the Bundesliga, Serie A, Ligue 1, um, La Liga. And then if we pick up European trophies along the way, that would be lovely. Let me know what you think. A brand new series on the channel or we carry this one on from the year 2036. I'm open either way. I'd probably... I very rarely carry on these saves once I've won the Champions League. I'd... I'd but I'm open to ideas. If you guys want to see a new series, then why not leave comments and suggestions about what it is as well. Uh, we'll go from there. Whatever happens, we will be resigning in this episode after, I think it's still May. When we tick around into, July, into June, we will be resigning. I'll save the game, and then we're going to go holiday 10 years into advance, which will be the next episode. But... I mean, I can't stop smiling. That's my problem at the moment. But yeah, let me know down below. But back to the press conference. I'll be uh, thoroughly unprofessional to make such thoughts public. That's what I'm going to say. What impact do you think the Champions League, the whole squad will be on a massive high and Leonardo is no different. And we win the Champions League. So the bonuses get paid out quite a lot for some players, but I don't really care. We get 17.5 million for winning it. We'll declare one of the best uh, managers in the world ever, which is wonderful. Uh, Bektas Danny Bektasi comes out of hiding to prove to to congratulate us. Excellent. The border ecstatic. Funky Cold Medina. Two goals. Two goals for the Funky Cold Medina. What a man. Um, Zagreb, we get 970 to 127k for Champions Cup revenue. That doesn't seem very much. 16.9 million. Uh, only 10.75 of that goes to the club to team for winning it. And we are the winners. As well as the biggest overachievers as well, which is nice to see. Top goal scorer, Gigliotti. Top assist, Medina. Highest average rating, Medina. The funky, cold Medina. What a hero. What a hero. And there we go. It is the 1st of June. And, well, let me just check. I just need to check something. Zagreb uh, Club... History, landmarks, European Champions Cup winners. Good. Next thing I need to check, my profile, uh, my history, milestones, Zagreb, competitions, Champions League winners. Ah, God, that's a good feeling. And with that... Oh... Yes. As a result of your plans to leave the club at the end of the season, the board have decided that you will no longer be allowed any input into player and staff recruitment with the relevant responsibilities delegated to other staff members. That has now been put in place. Interview. Why have you decided to leave Zegar Group at the end of the season? What effect do you see having on the team for the rest of the campaign? Um, well, we have gone out in style. It's right time for trying to return to be fantastic if we could part company having experience having experience with successful ends of things. We already have. What's next for Coldford Left Foot? I've not decided yet. You've got to decide for me what's coming next. It's set to be the end of an era following the announcement that you intend to step down as a hugely successful manager of Zagreb. Why is now the time for you to make the choice? I've been thinking about this day for a long time. I've had long discussions with my family and several people. 
it's time to take the next step in life. I think my stay is reaching a natural conclusion. It happens to every manager eventually, and I'm lucky to have enjoyed such a long and fruitful tenure here. I think that is the best thing to say. And there we go. We will be leaving at the end of the season, which actually isn't too far away. And we will be ending the save there, and the series comes to an end with the Champions League win, demolishing Atletico Madrid 4-0. We can have a quick look at the end of season awards. Um, so Medina, player of the season, followed by Manoz and Garcia. Gigliotti not getting in the top three, which is surprising. Pavelka gets goal of the season. Tello for 78.1 million was the signing of the season. I'm wondering how much did we pay? Yes, we paid it all because um, we won the Champions League, so we paid them all the money. <laughs> so... We have officially now resigned because this is the end of the season. So we were amazing, absolutely amazing season. Unbeaten in the league, um, not losing. Well, we won every game in the league. We won the Champions League. Absolutely incredible stuff. And there we go. To take over us, they are looking at Ali Suat, current manager of Benfica, who looks pretty pretty good. Uh, Cosmin Olario, who again looks good apart from motivation, which is a key part of management. And Gulivalugi, who is Red Bull Leipzig manager, who doesn't look too bad either. Wow. So, there we go. Now, this will be interesting. How many of the staff from the back room have left with me? We will accept those changes. So, leaving with us, 13 staff. Lovro Gaming, Oscar Astari, um, who else? Ross Jacobs. And that's it. All the other Patreons are staying. All the other Patreons are staying. Ken Wynn has decided to delight. He's delightful to stay with his job as a head of scouting. So that's all right. And Bonucci is sacked. I wonder if they're going to try and make an approach for us. But that is officially the end of the series. Thank you so much for all your support throughout it. There will be one more episode, which is 10 years into the future. But let me know down below what you think the future holds. Do we carry on this save, trying to win as many trophies as possible, or do we go for a brand new series on Football Manager 19? But thank you so much for watching. It has been an absolute blast. It has been absolutely incredible doing this, and I can't thank you all enough for the support on the channel. The Patreons will give extra support. Leave a like if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new, and for some reason this is the first episode you watch on the channel. But that was absolutely incredible. I'm out. Cheers.